Hi and welcome to No Aim No Gain. In this video we're going to be discussing the fast track ways and how you can negotiate your salary with your employer. Now before I get into it I want to ask I want you to ask yourself am I worthy of a salary increase? Have I been working at the employer for over a year? Have I demonstrated leadership's qualities? Am I the go-to person in the workplace for uh, whether there's a problem or there's an issue that needs resolving? And am I the first one in and the last one out type mentality person within the workplace? And are you uh, somebody that the, the employer and the managers talk highly about? And are you hitting your monthly one-to-one -one targets are you hitting your targets on a one-to-one -one basis these are all things that you need to factor in before you actually consider yourself um, going in and asking your employer that I would like to have a sell up an increase because otherwise it's going to make you look silly so the first thing that you do when you're going into a meeting and discussing the salary increase is you want to be going in with a number so what I'd, uh, what I'd advise you to do is check the industry metric, look at your salary, your job position, and uh, check out the market. What are your competitors paying for a role similar to yours? Um, and you want to look at others that are paying employees a higher salary wage. So you can maybe use that as a basis because what you don't want to be doing is uh, putting the ball in a manager's court when discussing as a figure that you want to negotiate. I would even go further in actually making an exact figure. So you'd say something like 64,750 rather than 65,000. Why is that important? Well, it's demonstrating to the employer that they've actually done extensive research and they will factor that in. Always have a number in mind. If you can't agree to a figure, then what I'd advise you to do is walk. Don't accept a low offer because it'll make you look needy when you don't really need to be putting yourself in that position you want to go into the meeting demonstrate that you're actually a person with value and you are actually worthy of a salary increase um, as you and you deserve it demonstrate in the meeting what you can do what you've done and what you are capable of in the future maybe even bringing out a, a printout within the meeting to show to the employers what you have done to go the extra mile uh, for the organization areas where you've helped out and even uh, results from your previous one-to-one -one meetings showing that you've actually actually excelled and this will go in your favor so how do you start the meeting that's obviously the most important well obviously the first thing that you need to do is you want to keep it positive you want to really emphasize how you really enjoy working in the workplace how you've developed yourself and how you've gone on to use that knowledge to help others and really excelled and then go forward on reviewing your salary in regards to the negotiation element i would definitely recommend you probably go higher uh, than the salary expectation that you you're looking to aim for why would i say this because when it comes to negotiating down um, what you want to do is you want to make you feel as though both parties are one so for instance if the employer uh, negotiates lower but it's actually the actual mark then what you do is you agree on, upon that so why it makes it look as though it's both parties are one and that's what you want to be doing the competitors trick now what i want you to do is apply for roles similar to the role that you're in uh, by employing on indeed with the highest salary and if it all goes well and you get a, a job offer then go ahead with that but if you feel that that the location or you just don't want to change then what you can do is get a letter an offer letter from that employer take it to your manager when you go in for the negotiation and then you can use that as a, uh, a, a bargaining chip so you've got a piece of paper here uh, showing to your employer that uh, you've been offered a role by the competitor but you don't want to leave because leave because you've been enjoying working at the workplace 
you build so many friendships and you just love working in this uh, with this employer and you really see yourself excelling and going higher places in this organization specifically and um, that will really work in your favor so obviously the the manager or whoever is negotiating with you will factor this into account because they're going to think to themselves well obviously the employer the competitors offered this employee more than we're offering so clearly this person is very valuable and that will definitely go in your favor i would highly recommend you do this even if you are offered the job then that's a, a bonus pay attention to what the employee is saying so obviously take on board what they've said to you ask ask questions now nothing ever goes to plan don't be afraid if you are given the no what i'd recommend you to do is possibly look at um they get their feedback from them and advise um, how you can go about um, improving yourself. Just before you do uh, accept that they accept their no, I would definitely recommend you just just try and push for a, a salary increase. You can probably you could probably say something down the lines of I understand where you're coming from and just want to reiterate my enthusiasm for the position and working with you and the team. I think my skills are perfectly suited for the position and are worth and then whatever it is, 65,000. If your boss is really difficult and isn't budging, then what I recommend you to do is maybe negotiate in uh, something else. So for, in for instance, flexi time, uh, additional holiday pay or something else or an, even a different position within the organization. Uh, what you don't want to be doing is going at the me uh, meeting uh, with nothing. Obviously the best case scenario is actually meeting your salary expectations but the worst case scenario is you may go with no away with nothing but you've actually demonstrated uh, some sort of negotiation to your employer and they might even respect you for that and never give up. You can, there's always an opportunity to try later on down the line and you can always take on board what I've, I've just said to you and they may even consider uh, you for another position with a higher salary expectation so don't give up on the negotiation and take on board what i've said today because if you believe that you've worked hard and you deserve do you deserve a salary rise then go ahead um, and really push for the salary rise i'm going to be uh, putting out more videos in regards to negotiation in further detail um, so stay tuned if you like this video i really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe uh, because we're going to be putting out more content on a weekly basis so we'll be adding more value to your life thank you very much for watching and uh, stay tuned